Please welcome director David Thorpe and Mike Albo. And this is an amazing film. It's got such a great response. I'm so glad it's helping those people with gay voices. I don't know who they are. Um, I don't have one. So I'm just really happy it's helping other people, you know? Um, oops. Uh, all right, so I just want to start very simply. Um, I remember talking to you about this at a party like two years ago. And when did you like wake up one day and think about this subject and want to turn it into a film? Um, it really was after I got dumped, which is a, a great time to re-examine your life. I highly recommend it. It's, uh, no, it's a terrible time to re-examine your life. But um, that, I, and, I, and what I say in the film is really what happened. I really started to become obsessed with how gay I sounded. And, and I think it is from that childhood experience of being incredibly self-conscious about anything that gives you away and makes you feminine and so forth. And, but I think it was the interview with the young guy on the street who, towards the beginning of the film, you meet him and then again later, and he says, you know, I, I hate my voice, I would change it if I could, I can't get a boyfriend, I think I haven't gotten hired, and that just, you know, really blew me away, uh, that this was something I just had to, to do, and I had to tell the, the whole story and try to tell every facet of it as, as best I could. Hmm. And, you know, the, in the film, you, you pose several different theories about where the gay voice comes from or where, uh, and, but then you leave it open-ended, so there's not really an answer. But do you feel like you've discovered where your gay accent came from? I haven't. I mean, I like that it's sort of a mystery. You know, um, this is not a well-funded research topic because there's no pressing need in theory to find out the source of the gay voice. So a right. lot of the research is very recent and it's very small. Uh -huh. um, and the researchers in the film will be the first to tell you that we need more, you know, we would need more studies. Um, right. But uh, so, and then there is this camp speech, which is kind of what we all learn when mm -hmm. we start hanging out together. And um, I like that I think it's kind of a blend of both um, and that I'll never know why I sound like I sound because the whole point is uh, that it doesn't matter. I was really, I forgot when I was watching this, all the stuff about gay villains and, um, and how many of them there are. And then, and I, you know, I've talked to you this, about this before, but like how many more I can think of, like um, Javier Bardem in Skyfall, uh, oh, there's so many, uh, Hannibal Lecter, you know these sort of gay accent evil people. And I'm wondering if you think that that's changing or is that sort of like a trend that now you, you've seen happening more? I think it is changing. I think you do see that less, but it still kind of leaks out now and then. Yeah. For yeah. me, you know, I remember uh, Javier Bardem in Skyfall as well. For me, you know, in Breaking Bad, when Gus, the evil Gus, turned out to be, uh, you know, in theory, gay. Mm -hmm. That I was like, oh come on, really? Like that? That's his backstory. So I think it's. I love the show, but I was like, that's tired. Right. Um, uh, so I, I think it's hopefully maybe starting to die, and maybe you know my film will be a part of nailing its coffin. Yes. Um, except I love being evil and gay. It's fun. So congratulations on the pickup by Sundance uh, Select. Select. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't know that. Um, amazing. Thank and. You. Uh, it's, I think it's kind of crazy that you're finding your voice and then you're also, this is your first film and you're finding your film voice too. Um, do you feel as confident with your film voice now? I mean, that must have been a huge learning experience, right? You mean when I watch the film? No, when you, well, making it. Oh, I mean, making it. Like, how do I turn this camera on? I don't, I mean, how do you even start? <laughs> yes, um, I highly recommend an automatic camera at the beginning. <laughs> right. Um, Yes, I do think, I, you know, it's funny, I haven't seen it for a while, and so this is, in a way, the freshest I've been in seeing it with you guys, and um, I think I did some cool stuff that I, you, you did. Know, I mean, I know it's not perfect, but... It's amazing. Um, but I, I it's think I'm... It's amazing. Thank you. Sure. But I, I do feel that I'm finding, like, an artistic voice as well as, as my David Thorpe voice. What was it like uh, in, in a movie about your voice doing the voiceover? Uh, and how do you dis what, yeah, what did you discover about that? That is an excellent question. Uh, we tried, I think, originally to edit the film in a more verite way that wouldn't require a lot of voiceover, and then it sort of became clear. The film got more and more personal as we went through revisions, and it became absolutely clear that I had to do a voiceover, and I really dreaded it. Um, and I dreaded it and dreaded it until the very moment I had to do it. And um, it was probably the biggest challenge of the whole process for me. Mm -hmm. um, 
because I mean I'm making a film about how I'm not comfortable with my voice. So yeah, I, and I was there for some of that, and I think you really you made I, leaps and bounds of. I definitely got better. You did. <laughs> what about that young kid that uh, Zach? Zach. Zach. Coming at it, he needs to be <laughs> proud. He needs you know to be proud of who he is, and yet. There's something about the statement of the movie, having a gay voice is a bad thing. Um, well, that's not the statement of the movie. Um, but uh, I mean, the point is that I become comfortable with, I reconnect with my voice, and I find my voice. Um, and in the end, kind of look to people like Zach and other young people for inspiration to be myself. I wanted to know like everyone's reactions so far. Any weird reactions from people, uh, like people coming up to you and being like, you know, I d didn't have a gay voice before, but now I saw the movie and now I can't get rid of it. Ah, like anything weird. I think you just nailed it there. <laughs> yeah. Where can I t watch that show that you got you and Sam did with the female? I'll talk to you after the show. <laughs> or DVD. Cable access. Oh, I remember those days. Those were so fun. What was the name of that? Uh, Holding Court. <laughs> and how many episodes did you do? <laughs> Two and a half. Okay. <laughs> There's a lost episode, which maybe we can re-release. <laughs> episode. Yeah. One more question. Yes, plans to do another film. I do. It's top secret. Really? Uh, of course, I, I really love this process, and it was personally healing and also um, gratifying and professionally. And so, yes, I'm definitely going to keep moving forward. Good. We're, we want you to. Thank you. Um, OK, thank you, Mr. Thorpe. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.